And so this is what everybody talks about. You know, that famous 50-50 split right here down the 50-yard line. And so I'm on the OU side. Everything this way is crimson and cream. And I had to put you on the Texas side. You got to hang out Bevo over there with the Texas fans. That's okay. I don't mind it. I do really love the visual that it gives. The 50-50 split, it's become synonymous with the Cotton Bowl, but there have been talks in the past about moving it to campus sites or even Jerry's World in Arlington. But our very own Kobe Terrell set out to find exactly why this game keeps getting played right here on this field. Texas and Oklahoma. Both states take a tremendous amount of pride in winning that game. College football fans know from the beginning there was OU and there was Texas. And right in the middle, the Cotton Bowl. Many say you can't have the two teams play without the Cotton Bowl. I talked to a historian about what the venue means for Sooners and Longhorns. 66-33 in Norman. 1912 was the first time they played in the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. Get the core of the sport the tradition, the pageantry, everything that goes into that in a college game day atmosphere, it all kind of culminates at the Cotton Bowl. To the right side of the moon, touchdown OU! But still, the rumors the game could change venues are as old as time. There's nothing like the Cotton Bowl. In 2009, KOCO 5 asked fans what they thought about moving the game to play at the Cowboys Stadium. Still a middle ground for the two teams. We like it right here. The atmosphere of the State Fair is what we come for. Every year? Every year. So would you still come, obviously? Obviously, but this is what makes it different, makes it special. Here's what we know. The current contract runs through 2025, but we also know things are changing, with both teams headed for the SEC. Commissioner Greg Sankey told KOCO this summer the league wouldn't meddle with the location. Those two schools decide that's a tradition that they want to honor, and we honor that with them. And as long as the two teams remain permanent opponents, observers think it's likely nothing changes. Handshake agreement, or whatever you want to call it, between Oklahoma and Texas right now. When the game's contract was extended in 2014, OU's athletic director said the University of Oklahoma is thrilled about preserving the rich tradition of this game in the city of Dallas. One historian told me that rich tradition had a huge benefit to OU over the years. Prior to World War II, um, Texas had a large lead in, in winning percentage over OU. After World War II, state leaders and, and OU leaders decided they wanted to push back against this Grapes of Wrath image of Oklahoma. And they put a lot of money in the program. They tried to attract World War II veterans. And since World War II, OU's been a powerhouse and it's been over 500 in the OU Texas game. He says the Cotton Bowl meant national recognition for the changes OU was trying to make. There weren't a lot of games on television until, you know, late 20th century, but that game was always on television, that and OU Nebraska. So that helped get eyes on the University of Oklahoma. Do you think that it would be that way if it weren't for the Cotton Bowl? No. Fans new and old wanted to stay here, and even team reporters can't imagine the game without the venue. Home and away is people throw that kind of stuff out there. No. No, never, never. I mean, I, I think that that's like one of the truly special portions of OU Texas in preserving the rivalries, playing at the Cotton Bowl. If it leaves the Texas State Fair, then I think it becomes just another rivalry game. It's a generation thing, you know, my grandparents are, you know, parents before them. I mean, it, it should stay in Dallas. There's no way it should move. Fans got a taste of that game outside the fair back in 2018 when the two met in the Big 12 Championship. It just wasn't the same. And no matter how bad or good the teams are, you watch. And fans will always feel the same way about their rival. That hatred for, uh, you know, the burnt orange and then the burnt orange that hates the crimson and cream, uh, that will definitely be uh, full throttle. Touchdown on you! Colby Terrell, KOCS 5 News.